Hey guys, it's Wednesday night. We promised you a big update, and tonight's the at that update. The update is the AOScan PET scan is now live. Well, it will be tonight by the end of this call. You'll be able to go on to your scan and actually scan your pets. Is that cool? We've been working on this for a little over, well, even before Solex came into being, we were working with the PET scan almost two years ago. And then things kind of shifted when we became Solex and we were more focused on getting all of the functionality for the humans in. But now we have the PET scan. The first phase of the PET scan is vitals. And it is customized to dogs, cats, and horses. Now, in the future, we'll be able to add more of those animals as we get more information on their physiology and that stuff. But for these three, they're live tonight on vitals and comprehensive will be following within the next couple of weeks. This is, for us, super exciting. Let me just show you a little bit. So take a look at your screen, or my screen. Um, now your pets, remember, when you load in your pets, you go into your profile, you hit pets and animals. Now I already have a few in here, so let's just pick one. But if you didn't have your pets in yet, you'd hit the little plus symbol and then up would uh, come this screen here. Now you'll notice, those of you who have done it before, it's different. If I select dogs, it will give me a drop down menu of over 230 species or breeds of dogs. And I can go through and select which species my dog is. And if it's a mixed, I can go through and select up to five and I can put those in. And once you've loaded those in, you've taken their picture, you put in their birth date, you've given the, the, your animal or your pet their name, and the pet ID number, that's really important. It's either on the little blue tag on their collar or the, or the new collars where it's embedded in that came with your package, the pet ID number. Once you've got that in, you sign it. Now, the pet picture is important. We've been able to eliminate the necessity, a necessity of having a picture for the humans in the scan. But for pets, we do. They're not worried about facial recognition. But they do, we do need that here because that helps us make a better profile for your pet. So you put that in and you save it. And now we've got that in. Once your pets are loaded in, then you would go back to your main menu and click on vitals. Now if you'll notice, the difference on your screen, right below where it says scan, it's the same thing as we have on the on the Cephi page. You have the scan target. In other words, who are we scanning? Now, we'll always default to your profile, the one at the top. But in this case, we're, gonna, we're going to scan Happy, our dog. So I would click on Happy, and up comes the scan. And you'll notice Happy's picture is there in the, in the target. And I'd run the scan. And so when I hit scan, now you can see we have the representation of the dog as it's going through the scan. Now the vitals are almost the same for all mammals, okay? But the dogs, the cats, and the horses, and the humans are slightly different. There are things that are different or eliminated in pets that uh, we would have to have in our humans or vice versa. So these have been designed based on the species. Okay, now let me show you, now you wouldn't do this in a normal scan, but let me just show you the different images. If I s go in and hit scan target again, I can click on Fluffy, the cat, and I have a representation of, of a cat. And the same with the horses, Super Stud, we have, a, we have an image of the horse. Now obviously you're not going to be doing that in a scan because you want to do your scan. But that's how your scan looks and how it, uh, as you're doing the scan, as it's doing the optimization. And then when you do the optimization, uh, you're going to see the same type of a thing happening in optimization. You'll see the representation of the animal or the pet that you're working with. So this is your new pet scan update. I hope you're as excited about it as we are, because we are stoked and it's only gonna get better. And we just wanna throw out a big thank you to the veterinarians that have worked with us over the, the months to put this together and to help refine this. The scan is going to help you understand better your pets, how you can maybe change diets for them, know when they're not feeling so well. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is this does not have an inner voice like we do for, for people. We can't capture the pets 
voice enough to get their data. We don't have enough data on their voices to make a very comprehensive voice. But what we have done, and we'll launch within the next week or so, is a, a balancing harmonic for your pets, your dogs, your hat, cats, and horses that is based on the vital scan. And so they'll be able to listen to those uh, balancing harmonics based on what we were able to ascertain from the vitals instead of their voice because we can't capture the voice. Let us know what you think about this. Go on and make a comment on the video. Let us know what you think because your comments are going to help us refine this even better. Just like your comments for the human scan have helped us make the AO scan what it is today. And with your feedback, letting us know how your pets are responding and how how much more your pet's lives are being enhanced by this is helpful for us. So just like with people, let's change our pet's lives one frequency at a time. Till next week, see ya.